Lighters up, Capricorn. It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot, back with another video, Capricorn. Sorry, I'm tardy for the party, but thank you so much for hanging out with me on this virtual smoke session. If you haven't already, light up with me, roll up with me. Drop down in the comments, let me know what you're smoking on. If you don't smoke, no worries, you're still more than welcome. This is a general reading, so everything is not going to fit your situation. Take whatever applies and let the rest fly. This video is letting you know the current energy between you and your person and also how each zodiac sign feels about you, all right? So, going to start with the collective reading and then I'll move on to each zodiac sign. Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles, there may be some frustration around a partnership that you can't get started um you may not want to work with somebody somebody may not want to work with you some of you i'm hearing you're not inspired or you're not motivated to work on what you need to work on so let's see what this is about capricorn so in the recent past you could have been dealing with a pisces you may have intuitively known what direction you needed to take or, you know, what you needed to do in this situation. And you could have acted accordingly. You also could have been um, dealing with a cancer. Since this two water energy uh, major arcana is here, this is something that you could have felt very emotionally about um, strong emotions about this. For a lot of you. It was something like that spirit led you to do or your intuition led you to do that. Let me put this out. Um, current energy between you and your person, two of cups. So somehow, some way between um, the current energy, some of you decided what needed to happen to make things work. Or you intuitively left somebody alone and decided to partner with someone else with the two of cups here. You got tired of dealing with bullshit from past people, past circumstances, past hurt, and you decided to just let it go. Now, some of you had to let it go due to force, not by choice, okay? Could have been dealing with a fire sign like we see over here, two of wands. You could have been dealing with a fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you were like, you had to let that person go to move on. Um, you are, you did the emotionally mature thing or you're dealing with someone who is more emotionally stable, emotionally immature. This person wants what you want. Um, how does that person feel? This person is focused on you and some of them, they're really focused on working on something, whether it be something tangible, they're working at their job or they're just working at the relationship or they're interested in putting the work in to make things work. Um, some of you are dealing with someone who has gone inward. Some of you have gotten to this energy where you are your, your biggest fan. You know, and for some of you, it may come across as conceit, but this is like selfish energy, but in a good way. You know, um, ego death. I'm hearing ego death. Some of you, not only did you have to let someone go, you may have had you may have had to let a way of thinking go, especially in regards to how you feel about yourself or how you feel a relationship should go some of you had to let go of control obstacle is that you may want to pump your brakes just a little bit with the knight of wands or an obstacle could be a sagittarius or a aries leo um some of you may be in this energy uh because you feel like you've lost time on the wrong one you know be sure you don't get into this energy where you're rushing things like you're trying to force certain shit to happen with this person or the situation likely outcome king of wands so this is someone who could be a little reckless someone who could just be could pop off this is someone who also has a lot of sexual energy pent-up sexual frustration even 
And Page of Pentacles is a page. Like they're moving somewhere. They may not know exactly where to go. But this is like, um, this energy to me feels like, again, a fire, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is coming back to make you an offer and it's based on it's sexually motivated you know this person may just want to screw this person just may want to see if they can get you back especially if they know that you have moved on and you're seeing someone else so capricorn be aware be on the lookout stay alert stay woke for this fire sign trying to come back and you probably had to let go of that person and you have to stay in this energy. Again, this is fire energy. The emperor in reverse is Aries energy. So this energy is, I said what I said. I'm not budging on it, you know. And they could do some slick shit or say some slick shit to let you know, like, you're not changing my mind. It is what it is. So this is the energy, Capricorn, that you need to stay in when this person comes around. All right. So I'll be back with the individual signs. All right, Capricorn, if you are dealing with an Aries, again, um, this is moving forward emotionally. So this Aries may ha may feel that you have moved forward or you are you're distant, distant. You seem distant. You, there's like a disconnection here. And they because of that, they may be spying on you. Some of you I'm hearing. This Aries Capricorn, this Aries feels that you're distant and you're acting funny due to some shit that you heard about them. OK, so keep that in mind. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they feel that you are a lost opportunity or maybe, you know, they had a chance with you and they lost it. And they're not really they may not be sure how to get it back. Or this was a situation, Capricorn, where the two of you tried it. It didn't work out. They may feel, you know, a little bummed out about it or just a missed opportunity with you. Um, this situation, the opportunity that they had with you, it could have been due to some type of disagreement, some type of conflict. And so the Taurus does want to apologize and end this conflict somehow. If you are dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini feels that you are probably being a little unreasonable, probably being a jerk, probably, you know, really standing on what you said, or they feel that they cannot change your mind about something. And they don't feel that this situation can be successful. They don't feel that they can have a, vic a victory with you with the Six of Wands in reverse. If you are dealing with a Cancer, Capricorn, um, this person feels that you're not telling them something. There's something hidden. There could be some deceit here. And they feel that you have disconnected from them totally and you are refusing to give them some type of answer, give them some type of something, some type of sign that there's still interest here or there's, there's still some type of... They're basically hoping that you can give them some type of explanation for why they feel that you're deceiving them or there's something deceitful going on here. If you are dealing with a Leo, the Leo is losing hope. Um, they could be losing hope that the situation could change for the better between the, the two of you. They feel that you're being petty, you're being vindictive, or that something happened in this situation that really wasn't fair. Or maybe they saw a side of you that it's like making them be like, oh, OK, well, shit, I'm losing hope working things out with this Capricorn. If you are dealing with a Virgo. The Virgo wants to rush in and give you some type of message or explanation. They feel that you are someone that they could grow a relationship with. They could have something stable, something substantial with. You could be a good mother, um, a good 
mother or father to their kids but also for some of you this person is rushing in to tell you something about the mother or the father of your child okay be on the lookout for that now if you are dealing with a libra this libra is getting over it they're like ready to move on to something new because you heard them this Libra feels like you hurt their feelings or maybe it was an amicable decision for the breakup or for the divorce. And this person has decided, you know, they're getting ready to move on from this. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio feels like maybe you could have manipulated them some kind of way. Maybe you told them something that wasn't necessarily true or you told them something that didn't add up or doesn't make any sense. And they could also feel that you need to make a decision or and or you have many options to choose from. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this person feels that you betrayed them in some kind of way. They also could feel that they can't really have any type of traditional relationship with, with you or that you don't want a relationship with them. And maybe that was part of the betrayal. Maybe they feel like you made them believe that you wanted something traditional. You wanted the commitment with them and you don't. Libra, Scorpio, okay, Capricorn. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, this person may feel that all you want them for is sex or that there's nothing really substantial. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn who Although they may want to reach out, this person really doesn't know what the fuck they want. They could also feel that you're being jaded, that you're bitter, that you, you know, are in your feelings about something that happened recently. And maybe they feel that this honestly, this feels like if you're dealing with another Capricorn, you had a friends with benefits situation, something happened between the two of you and now they're not getting sex or they feel like they can't have sex with you anymore. OK, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this person is really disconnected, not only from you, but probably from a lot of people. Um, this person could be let me get another card. Yeah, this person could be trying to figure out what was the, the purpose of something, what something meant. They could also be in hermit mode because maybe they felt like they could have something with you. Maybe they saw the potential in that. And so now, you know, they're, they are they have retreated. They're in hermit mode. But this hermit mode is in reverse. So it's like the hermit is Virgo energy. And so in the reverse, this person is like really, really over analyzing and thinking like why they didn't notice something sooner about this situation or why they didn't notice something before now. OK. Last but not least, if you are dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces is feeling the results of a painful ending. Um, because this person is on her cell phone, they probably look at your social media with regret. They're thinking about, you know, whatever regretful action that they did. And they want to come out of the cold with you, Capricorn. All right. So leave me a comment. Let me know if this has resonated with you. Thank you so much. And I'll see y'all later.